Hello and welcome to Smallton. First of all, we'll get the copers thing out of the way. Right now, anybody who's been reading about all this copper stuff, my take on it is very simple. It's just down to Google's greed and they won't admit it's down to their greed. So instead of them suffering, everybody else has to. And that's about it. So we'll, we'll get rid of all that and say welcome to Smallton. Well, we've been doing a few things since um, the last update. We've got in this section on the top here ready for a, a total overhaul. Uh, the church will stay where it is, but there will be a, a roadway added and some more of the green Jarvis Scenics uh, paper used to uh, do the section where the little dockyard shunter is along the top there. Now anybody who wanted to put the bushes on uh, like I have there and use the usual method with the Jarvis Scenics paper, don't. <laughs> As you can see it's made a bit of a mess there so we're going to have to do that all over again. Oh, deep joy. Right, well, another section I've uh, done something with is under the bridge there. We've added the new um, industrial unit from Metcalf, put in some tarmac, a small um, footpath, and for now, that'll do. Uh, there's still some uh, ballasting to do there, and I can see I've got a train stuck. <laughs> oh, deep joy, don't you just love model railways? Anyway, we'll carry on. Uh, we've got a new uh, engine running around, American um, engine. And it's managing to pull all this lot. Now I bought it for the particular reason and basically the only reason in that it will it's quite a heavy loco and should pull a reasonable load, which it is doing now. Uh, somebody had put one of these very short couplings on and it just basically was derailing all my rolling stock there and it does seem to be behaving itself now so since i changed the coupling for a slightly longer one uh, now somebody was asking on facebook about how easy it is to put lighting into a, a kit built and to dcc uh, um, dmu and to dcc well there you go it's lit up uh, and one of the uh, freight's running around that you'll be staying where it is. Uh, so we'll just um, give the uh, get the little engine going and maybe it will do something but there again maybe not. Well, for those of you who've been follow, who follow Fault, uh, Smallton, I've completely rehashed this part of the upper section here, made it a bit nicer, a bit more suitable. And uh, that's the engine that Sam from Sam's Trains reviewed some time back. He got his from America and paid import duties. I got mine from Germany and paid just what it cost uh, why he would want to uh, import it from america when they're made in slovenia or slovakia or somewhere like that uh, is beyond my thoughts anyway still never mind it is actually a good engine but it just needs some weight in and so that it'll t pull a decent load now whether i dcc that or not i don't know it's uh, I don't really have a use for it so it'll probably go to a friend of mine who's thinking about building a layout I must remind him not to <laughs> oh well yeah well like I say deep joy uh, okay what's next well 
Next is to do, I can say, is to do the, uh, the section at the back and hopefully uh, improve a few thing, other things. Um, it's only when I seem to pick up the, f the phone that uh, things go a lot, a lot wrong as, it, as they do at the moment. Like I say, I keep, like to keep these videos reasonably short so people will actually watch them. Now, any thoughts, comments, suggestions are always welcome. And uh, if anybody wants to hear about um, me to make up some stories about Costa Salotus, the car, car salesman, used car salesman, or um, our friend Mr. Belcher who likes his uh, female um, chauffeur come secretary, please let me know and I'll be quite happy to do that. And yes, we've got that one stopped now because that's stopped. This one stopped. Oh dear me. Yeah. Uh, anybody actually feel like getting a big hammer? Uh, oh yes, there is. Yeah, uh, Dave Howarth. He likes his big hammer. Maybe I should invite him here, and he can uh, to bring his hammer and uh, redo all this lot. Well. That's it for now. Uh, there'll probably be another video at some stage when I eventually get round to doing that upper section there. Uh, one of the things I have done is to get rid of the idea of having a line that runs from here by the signal box to the top. Uh, because we actually live in this, you know, move around in this particular room. Uh, someone who shall remain nameless, who has a very nice uh, little body and tends to hang out the window, uh, does tend to um, disturb things occasionally. But we'll have to forgive her for that. And, and there we are, that's outside. Uh, the snow's unfortunately gone, or well, fortunately, depending on your point of view, but there you go. Anyway, take care guys, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.